The wheel of misfortune. The wheel of <laughs> misfortune. Okay, so it is misfortune. What did you used to call I used it? to say misfortune. Yeah, and yeah. I, I didn't know if that's just how you said it or not. So I don't. I, like, I think that might have just been how I said it. <laughs> You um, d- I noticed it too, and then I, I thought maybe it was like a northeastern thing. I don't know. I thought you were just being cute. I was like, maybe okay. I am just cute. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. sexy. Okay, yeah. you're not cute. Sorry, you're that's sexy. You. <laughs> um, okay, bad double date story. <laughs> I don't like double dates, and I, I think they're they're overhyped. No. Double dates are either. The best because I think you could do a double date and like sweatpants with like your best friend and like their guy. Or like in a sporting event. That's the best in the entire <laughs> world. The worst is the starter pack couple that we don't know that well. And oh. we're trying. And you go to dinner and you're stuck there for the entire dinner. And there's four seats like this. And you're like, do we sit beside <clears throat> each other? Do we sit across from each other? Do It's like an interview where you're like, what? Is, so what do you do? And then all three of us have to sit there and listen. It's the worst. Four strangers. Yeah, like you don't think I've ever been on one like that. Wait, where you don't know the, you don't know the, no either? one knows the no! couple. Oh no, sorry. Oh! Sorry. I'm not, like it's like Mike's friends and his new girlfriend, and like I don't know her. Double you know? dates have yes. to be activities. They they should totally be activities, especially sporting events, even like a freaking movie, because yes. you don't have to oh. talk. Yes. And you could just sit there. Yes. When I was in college, I had a friend and I was dating Graham and he was in town. And my dad was like, I want to set your friend up on this double date with my dad's financial advisor. Very serious moment. And I was like, "Okay, great, dad. So we drive to the city. Graham drives us and her and I take shots the whole time on the way to. It's like a 45 minute drive. Blacked the fuck out by the time we get to the dinner. Graham's not. (laughs) The financial advisor does not think we're funny. (laughs) We don't remember like halfway through the dinner and just... Safe to say we never heard from him again. Oh. It was, it's one of those days where you wake up the next morning and you're just like, it's so <sighs> bad, just, just brutal, just bad. But I think we were doing it. It was really, it was a really fun night, but that was bad. And, and I think my dad got wind, you know, I think he was like, how was it? And the financial advisor was like, interesting. How old was he? Like older, mm. definitely older. I think the only type of <clears throat> bad double date story I have, it wasn't bad. It was just remind me, <laughs> remind me of something because you just said what you said. But it was, I don't think you should ever <laughs> drink heavily. I'm, vo- I'm voiced. I'm voiced. You voice that. I don't think you should ever drink heavily on a double date because when us three were on our triple date. I remember waking up the next day with so much anxiety because I was oh like, oh my God, at the dinner I was like, part, we were all like yeah, blacked out. No, in my head, like, <laughs> so I have a problem where when I'm with somebody I like and I drink, I just make out with them. I cannot oh not God. make out. Like my friend Madeline will literally make jokes and be like, she made a joke to someone one time. She's like, we can go on a double date with them, but she's going to make out with him the whole time. <laughs> so that next day I was like, did I just make out with him in front of Graham, Alex, Alana, and Mike the entire night because of the pictures I was seeing. Oh, no, you were good. I think you guys were just like okay. touching under the table. But still, I had the worst. I was like, Jordan, you can never <laughs> drink that much when you're on a triple double date. <laughs> Wait, I prefer, you know what I like about that though? Because you guys were touchy. It made me feel better because if I go on a double date being married, it's like, okay, we're spoken for, yeah. right? Like we're not yeah. questioning. You guys have been dating so long that it's like you guys were the new ones and I don't want you to feel awkward. So when you start kissing and stuff, I automatically felt more it relaxed. It disarmed me. Yes. Honestly. Uh, I was like, oh, because good. I kind of felt like we were like, you're like dance monkeys a little bit. Like we I don't were trying to make the night s- fun for you guys. I don't want you to see me making out with anybody though. Why? I liked it. I watched you make out on New Year's for like 20 minutes. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I, I Which, can go. I don't know why, but I get such bad icky anxiety. And I say like, when you told me my New Year's kiss was like a full blown make out, I literally was like, oh my God. <laughs> but nice. I, you guys, when I drink, I make out making out is like it's like my second language i love it though <laughs> i love it i think it's great because you're all like i don't get to do drunk makeouts with graham anymore because he's sober that and he true. doesn't want to <laughs> diffmo with me in the club you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah he doesn't want to oh also i will say he's totally dropped the no no sex sober thing oh, oh yeah good. yeah like last night Why? he was like come here and i was like okay wait when you got home last day yeah and did you we were so drunk. 